The CodeWP preview feature allows you to visualize how code will act in a working WordPress installation directly from the CodeWP platform. So I've just gone ahead and generated a example code for WordPress. This code creates a custom post type and it also adds two related taxonomies to this code. In the past, when I wanted to test this code, I'd have to copy and paste it, open up a local WordPress installation, log in, go ahead and copy this code into a code snippet plugin or functions PHP, or create a functionality plugin out of it, toggle back and forth and back and forth, and eventually see if this code works on the platform or not. If it didn't work on WordPress, I'd have to copy the error message or explain what was going wrong, come back to CodeWP, paste it in, and really just go back and forth. There was no easy flow to do initial testing of code. Now there is with the preview feature. So I've gone ahead and created a custom post type demo. This is my file right here. This is the code right here. And I'm just gonna toggle the preview on for that demo, for this file. And this preview will go ahead and create a working WordPress installation directly in the CodeWP platform. And this WordPress installation runs 100% in the browser of your current machine, which means that it's completely private, it's completely secure, all data is removed when the preview is ended, so it's a perfect place to play around in a sandbox environment and see how code interacts with a WordPress site. So you'll see that WordPress just loaded, and this is a fully fledged version of WordPress running in the browser. This tool has been built on top of the awesome WP Playground project, and you can see that you have WordPress running in the browser with the custom post type demo snippet added directly to WordPress. And we can see that it's actually working because the dinosaur custom post type has been added alongside the two taxonomies of eras and diets that we've added. And I can enable this, I can disable this, I can also view the code that was brought over, and I can go into this custom post type that I just registered and verify if it's working or not. So this looks perfect, it looks like exactly what I wanted. If I toggle out of the preview and make an edit to this, I want a third taxonomy related to dinosaurs. Create that edit to the code, I can then go back in to that preview and see if my edit actually has made an impact, if it's good, if it works as expected. So I'm gonna say CPT demo, edit, and this, Name changes just to show you that the new file is pulled into the preview on every initialization. And we'll be able to go back into WordPress, no copying and pasting, no back and forth, and we'll be able to see, does this edit actually work? Does it introduce any errors? Does it introduce any problems? A good first screen to see how the code re reacts on WordPress. So we see our new file has been pulled over, and if we go right here, we'll see the third taxonomy has been added to this preview. Now, the preview right now does not work with multi-file packages, so if I do just index2.php, create that file, you'll see that the preview feature goes away. If I delete this file from the package, it becomes a single file again, the preview feature comes back. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how this works alongside the CodeWP modes feature. And we have a full video on how modes work, but essentially these modes generate code specific to the plugin that they represent. So the ACF mode will generate code for ACF. If ACF isn't installed, then this code won't work. So to preview a proper version of this code, we need to have WordPress in the browser, but we also need the ACF plugin installed as well. And luckily this preview feature has contextual understanding of what mode was used to generate the code, and then promptly installs the proper plugin alongside WordPress in the browser so we can get a full picture of how this code will interact with WordPress. Now there are some limitations with this. This will only work if the plugin is freely available on the WordPress repository. So for ACF, there's a pro mode and a pro version of the plugin, but there's also a free version of the plugin which we install on WordPress. And you can see it flashing before the screen, it installs ACF. WooCommerce mode will install WooCommerce, Elementor will install the free version of Elementor, so on and so forth. But for some of these modes that have pro versions only, like Gravity Forms, like Bricks Builder, Breakdance, things like that, you'll need to initialize the preview yourself and go and install the plugin by adding it here. But in this example, because we have a freely available plugin from ACF, 
we install advanced custom fields and now we can preview how this code works we can see our three different fields right here added to the post type just as i asked so that's how preview interacts directly with the code wp modes and works alongside the modes that have freely available plugins. So this preview brings WordPress directly into the CodeWP platform and cuts out a lot of the copying and pasting and back and forth of initial code testing. It doesn't replace the need to do a full test on a staging version of your website before bringing code into production, but what it does do is it gives you a good understanding of will the code work, how will the code work, how will it look on a WordPress installation, things like that. For example, if I went and deleted this function, saved the file and then brought it into WordPress and we'll do ACF example error. We can trigger this preview again and we'll be able to see that there is an error in the code and it will help us not install it on a staging version of our site and completely brick it. We can also take that error and easily talk to CodeWP and say, hey, this code is causing an issue on my WordPress site. Here's a copy and paste of the issue it's actually causing. Can you please edit this or explain what's, what the reason behind this error is so I can fix it? So right here, we have our critical error. I'll copy and paste it right here. And I will just paste it into this conversation. CodeWP will close out and it will add the proper, the proper information here for what we need. And it fixes the syntax error. The function was not properly called. It's added the function to work. And if we jump back into the preview, we'll be able to verify that that fix happened. So this preview feature is really powerful. It's an awesome feature in CodeWP. Again, CodeWP is an AI created specifically for WordPress. So we have features like preview modes, presets, all of these different things built for our own industry, leveraging the best that AI has to offer for WordPress.